Hi everyone. Hi, Hi Thinny, everyone. everyone Tano, Tano here. here. The internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this new Snooper album, Super Snooper. Yeah, this is a, a Nashville art and post-punk outfit dropping their first full-length commercial album uh, via Jack White's Third Man Records. If you're in the market for something fast and zany, tight and Fun, as well as to the point uh, this will most likely be one of your favorite records of the year. We have 14 tracks on this thing split up amongst a very speedy 22 minutes. And I do mean speedy. Snooper is fast and aggressive on this record in the way that a good punk band should be. But this is a record that still manages to have a lot of detail, a lot of character, actually leave an impression. It's not just a blur flying by you at 80 miles an hour. No, Snooper really takes you along for the ride on this thing as you hang desperately onto a skateboard that's tied to the back of a beat-up old touring van. There's something really weird and eccentric about the band's songwriting and sound as well. It makes me want to draw comparisons to groups like uh, Devo, Suburban Lawns, The Feelies, uh, Pylon, as well as Nardwar's The Evaporators. I wouldn't say Snooper is doing the exact same thing as any of those bands per se, but they do all use their music and lyrics to to portray a very absurd and warped world. I mean, what other conclusion can I come to when I listen to a track like Bedbugs, which the band really throttles through, spewing out lyrics about sleeping with bedbugs, sharing a bed with them, itching due to them, squishing them, eating them. These feelings soundtrack with a lot of chaotic riffs and chord changes, driving drums too. Meanwhile, frontwoman Blair Trammell sings with this alien chorus effect on her voice, which turns up on pretty much every song here. It's simple, but it helps cut through the chaos of the uh, ruckus the band is creating in the back. Across this LP, I wouldn't say there is a ton of variation to the sound. The guitars are very punchy and dry and distorted. The drums, while clear and very readable, have kind of a, a low level of lo-fi filth caked onto them as well. The vocals, again, kind of cut through all of that with uh, that chorus effect and deliver a lot of unique and catchy refrains like the zigzagging ascending lines on Unable. I can't beg your love. I can't beg your love. Also Xerox with your Xerox candy bar and you pulled up in a hot car. So yeah, even with these songs being as fast and as weird and as nutty as they are, uh, the band usually does manage to deliver something snappy amidst the chaos. And instrumentally as well, there's just enough change-ups going on to keep things interesting. Like with the sci-fi synth break and vocal samples over the bridge on the track pod. A song all about questioning perspectives uh, that are kind of accepted uh, or normalized in greater society. And just to give you a sense of how the topic switch up from song to song. Uh, next track, Fitness, is a jittery punk cut all about lifting weights. Getting buffer and obsessing over your physique with lines like lift weight, mutate, hydrate, inflate, <laughs> await my fate, primate growth rate. The instrumental here is loaded with shrill bits of guitar, uh, hand clap samples, and what sounds like a screaming gym whistle. Meanwhile, the track Powerball is a hilarious and demented rager about winning the lotto, or rather uh, not winning the lotto and playing it over and over again anyway. Something that runs across the record as a consistent theme is original thought, encouraging people to snap themselves out of unchallenged expectations or behaviors. There's a real distaste for the ordinary or repetition on this record, which uh, might be why the band struggles to write a song over two minutes, which I think they get hilariously meta with on the song Inventory, delivering lyrics like, I know this song hasn't been too long, soundtracking that with the most abrasive and ridiculous shots of noise and distortion on the record. I know it's just guitars uh, generating these sounds, but it still sounds like industrial machinery breaking down. The song Defect is also a highlight here, which is all about uh, digital errors, passwords, viruses, resets. It's a parody of our uh, very electronically dependent society. The track Town Topic, which is also a uh, very tense and in your face, is all about being subject to rumors, gossip, hearsay. And get across a pretty effective portrait of those feelings and that experience, even with the song being as short as it is. I love how uh, these guys can consistently 
go from interesting topic to interesting topic and really give us a decent picture of it in the brief amount of time they allot themselves. Whether they're talking about dealing with uh, boredom and intense anxiety during uh, the pandemic, the quarantines on the song Microbe, or a host of other songs here. Uh, there is also the closer running where I think the band really saves the best for last. This is the longest track on the record by quite a bit at 522. I mean, it almost takes up like a quarter of the album. <laughs> but it's cool to hear that the band can go the distance when they actually want to. Might be something worth exploring on a future record as they expand and mature more. But this cut is a very danceable, synthy bit of post-punk with some weird, campy, interdimensional vibes to it. It's pretty cool to hear the band settle into a groove after uh, really fighting the urge to repeat too many things throughout the rest of the record, as not everything they do needs to sound like they're, uh, you know, kind of like speed running their own music. But yeah, strong ending to the record, strong start. There were a few meh cuts that I wasn't crazy about, namely Fruit Fly, where I think the vocal melodies and lyrics really could have used uh, a bit more direction. They felt a, a lot sloppier and more disheveled than pretty much anything else here, which was also kind of the case for the lyrics on Music for Spies, though uh, maybe to a lesser degree. But pretty much everything else on this record is a non-stop thrill ride. This is a great, weird, funny little punk record from a band here that's making a great first impression, and I can't wait to hear what they do from here. Uh, feeling a decent eight on this one. Tran, Zishin, have you given this record a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Snooper, forever.